Hi, my name is Joshua with Sterling Concrete. We're here today in Rathrum and we are working on a private residence for a customer who wanted a large back patio in their backyard and uh, they wanted some wraparound sidewalks that go around both sides of their house to the front, connecting to the driveway and the existing sidewalk in the front. Um, we are going to break this down for you into four steps uh, so you can see the process. It's really generally the same on most projects. Each, each job has its own little uh, variances of, of the steps, but generally speaking, there's four steps. Number one is we come in, we set our string lines, and we set up our elevation so that we know where the concrete is going to go, where the forms are going to go, rather, um, and making sure that water drains away from the building all around the, the entire uh, house. Um, second step is we come in and we secure our forms to that string. Um, and we get our forms all in place and that's just a real simple process with stakes and lumber. Thirdly, uh, we grade everything. So now that our forms are installed, we get the grade work done and um, we see where the elevations are. If there's an area that's too high, we knock it down. If there's an area too low, we build it up uh, and get our grade work prepped and then we reinforce it with rebar. That's step number three. Step number four, of course, is pouring and finishing. Um, generally speaking, when we pour and finish the concrete, we tool in our control joints, which are meant to create weak spots in the concrete. We know it's going to crack, so we want to just tell it where to crack. And so we put in these control joints. In some cases, such as this one, um, the patio is so large that we're unable to do that with, by tooling with our tools when we pour. So we're going to come back the next day and we're going to saw cut the control joints in. Uh, with a concrete saw. Before we get into these specific steps and break them down for you and show you how they're all done, I'd like to introduce you to the guys that are really making it happen out here with their boots on the ground. Uh, this is our crew. These are the guys that are really, I tee it up for them. They knock it down the fairway and put it in the cup at the end of the day. So our foreman uh, and leader is Courtney. He's been with us for three years now. Um, he's kind of the He's kind of the puppet master out here that makes sure everything is done properly and correctly. Uh, secondly, we have Jet. Jet's been with us for just the beginning of this season, so almost seven months now. Um, does a great job, and as soon as we can get some more staffing together, he'll be running our second crew. Um, he is in the leadership position out here. And then we have Dakota. Dakota's been with us for about a year now. Uh, he's about a 90% apprentice and does a great job out here. Uh, and we're really happy to have him on board. And then Mike is our latest addition. He's been with us for about four weeks now. Glad to have him on, great attitude, and uh, he's learning the trade and these guys are happy to teach him. So with that, let's go into the steps and we'll break them down. Enjoy, I hope that the video is informative for you.